Hi everybody, this is Matthew Pose with Pose Acoustics. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about light control and why it's important in home theaters, but also things you can do when light control are not always feasible. So I think everybody who understands deeply on uh, home theaters understands that light control is really important. Light control just refers to the idea that you can keep light out of the room. So it's important no matter what kind of screen you have, but it's much, much more important with projectors than it is with direct view video displays like typical TVs. And there's two reasons for that. The first is that with a regular TV, the back material, when like all of the LEDs are off and the LCD is off or the OLED is off, whatever, is black. Uh, that is the base color. And when light reflects on it, yeah, it's not like totally perfectly black, but it's pretty black. And so even in a well-lit room, the black aspect of the image is pretty good. With a projector, the base material is white. That's the color of the projector screen. And so if there's any light in the room and it hits that white part, it's gonna become white. And so if it's not as bright as the whitest part that's coming from the projector, it's gonna look blackish, but it's not black. And so light control becomes important because the black level of a, of a projected image is defined by the light level, the ambient light level of the room. Letting light in then raises that ambient light level and thus lowers your contrast ratio. So with a projector system, you can't really stick those. I mean, I've done it. I'm sure lots of you have done it, but you can't really stick those in like a family room or a living room without light control and get a great image. The projector needs to be very, very bright. And even then you just don't have a great contrast ratio. One of the things you can do to mitigate that is to use an ALR screen, which is an ambient light rejecting screen. And so these have special surfaces and they often have a gray or blackish looking screen surface. And so they look a lot better but they aren't perfect. The video quality can actually be uh, lowered from it. You, there are AT versions now, acoustically transparent versions, but not as good as the, the, the best versions of those screens are not available in an AT. And so it's not an ideal solution, but it works. Really the better solution in a room where you don't have great light control or where you need to be able to have some ambient light would be a direct view display that's just pretty large. So if you want like that kind of cinema experience, but in a much more casual way, you know, just put a 100 inch um, LED TV or something like that in there. Um, on the other hand, if you really want like a big, like 120, 150 plus inch image, projector still is kind of the way to go. It, and, and even at 100 inches, you can do a projected image that looks really beautiful for cheaper than you can do those TVs. But that light control becomes so important. So what are your options then when you can't do normal light control? Well, you can get rid of windows. You know, I, I actually have, have paneled over windows, if you will, or, or drywalled over windows quite a bit in my day on lots of home theaters. And we will go into rooms all the time and say, well, we're getting rid of those. So in a dedicated home theater, that is the thing we do. We just cover the window right up. But what if you can't do that? What if you're not doing construction? So many of you have probably seen these plugs that go in the window. You can buy these. They make some sound isolated versions. It's, it's not a bad idea. You can make them yourself if you want to. You can do drywall or plywood or MDF, and you can do some mass loaded vinyl maybe another layer of drywall or MDF, and then some acoustic insulation, and you make it to fit really well inside of the window, you can put a magnet assembly actually in the window area so that when it plugs into there, it latches in, in with the magnets, and then that way it stays in place and when you need to, you just pull it off. I've seen people put handles on them. You don't have to do that. You know, you could just pry it off if you needed to. And then you can put acoustic uh, treatments on the front of it too to make it an acoustic panel in the room as well as a light controlling device that covers the window. So that's an option, but what if you wanna be able to routinely have light? So like sometimes you want light control, sometimes you don't. So curtains work and they make blackout curtains, but they're gonna let light in through the top, bottom, and the sides. So my preferred product actually, even if I have curtains, are roller shades with these light controlling um, I don't know what they're called actually. They're, they're like little light controlled uh, guards, if you will, that the, it's like a track that the sh roller shade goes into. A number of companies sell this. And there's some really good ones that actually have a little bit of a flocking lining to it that helps control light that would get into there and kind of go out. And so you make it, it kind of the whole thing gets this, this little guard, if you will. You install the roller shade, everything's nice and tight the way it's done, and then this roller shade would roll down. So as long as it's got a good um, uh, uh, blackout material to it that doesn't let light through, these roller shades do a really good job of blocking light. If you add in a, a light blocking curtain in front of that, you're like as good as it gets. I mean, at this point, it's the same as if you just block the window off. 
And even without that, those roller shades can often be good enough to do more than acceptable light control. I've seen those basically make a room pretty much pitch black. And so they work really well. That's kind of my go-to for something where you do need to be able to have some lights. But as I said, if what you're looking for is, is not having good light control because you want a more casual experience where the lights are maybe on but dimmed, or the windows you know open and you're watching during the day, window being the I don't mean like you open the window, but the, the shade is up or whatever. I wouldn't do a projector. It's not a great idea. Uh, I would stick to like a direct view TV of some kind instead. So light control, very important. Uh, it's for projectors, it's an absolute must and it will ruin the image if you don't have good light control, but you can always add it and it can be added in a way that's sort of a temporary thing where you can essentially turn it on and off just like a light switch. Of course, they have motorized light shades. There's some companies now that are doing those that are not that expensive. We, we did them in our house um, and on my windows. So I think the biggest window we have is like eight feet wide and about eight or nine feet tall. And those would have been, I think, two or $3,000 from some of the big brands, but we were able to do those for about seven, $800. They work with the control force system, so they can be done pretty affordably. Um, so that, you know, that's how I would handle that. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get more content. Thank you.